Hey guys, Thunder E here, and today we're talking about the Galaxy Fold, my use case in 24 hours. Yes. So I got the Galaxy Fold a day ago, or at least yesterday, if you're watching this video immediately. And uh, Samsung, you know, was kind enough to uh, give me the Fold so I could use, check it out, give my whole experience. And I want to lay out some of my thoughts for it. I usually don't do videos like this, but I think it's very prevalent for a device like this. We know the Fold costs $1,980. It's going to be expensive for a lot of people. So a lot of you wondering, what does it feel like using the device? Uh, the first thing I'll say is that the one thing I have done a lot is more gaming because of the Galaxy Fold. The fact that when I open it up, I've got a much larger display and I can actually game really does, I don't know, it really does something to the psyche. Um, you know, I usually travel a lot and I take my Nintendo Switch, but I never really take it out when I'm on the plane. I do have my phone with me, so having something like this and being able to travel with it, I think, goes a long way and makes a lot of sense. So that's one of the really big positives I've liked about the Fold and also watching content on there. I've, I've watched, um, I've found myself watching more YouTube videos, just watching more clips on the Fold, especially on the larger display. Now the big question a lot of you have asked in the couple, the two videos I've put up is, is it more of a phone or a tablet, right? Um, and I would say it's, it's a hybrid of both. It really isn't a tablet. It doesn't function like an Android tablet. That's a good thing, because I don't like how that works. And really as a phone, it doesn't really fit that well because the front display is really small. It's 4.5 inches, uh, I believe, or 4.6. Um, and for me, it's really small. It's easy to navigate, but it's small to type. Uh, and some people would have said, look, if it was a larger display, it would be better. I think it's not just the height, but also the width. So this is not as wide as a Galaxy S10, so it feels really small. So it's easy to navigate with one hand, but you're not getting a lot of the real estate. So you end up using it on, on the wider screen uh, much more. So that's something to take note with this. I think this might be uh, an evolution of a productivity tool in a sense. Like some of you ask, then why would I want to use the Galaxy Fold? Now, forget the price for now, but this in terms of usability, uh, I found myself uh, looking at content more because of the larger display. I like bigger displays. I've always liked that, so for me, it fits quite well. I do wish I had a bigger display in the front, which would allow me to do more. Now, some of the things I do like also are the continuity aspect, you know, the ability to uh, move apps from the front to the back in a very smooth fashion. So whether it was moving from Instagram, from the smaller screen to the larger screen, 7.3, I like that. I, and I want to see more apps take that. It's not all games uh, work that way. PUBG doesn't. Uh, Asphalt 9 moves flawlessly while you're playing, uh, which is great. And I, I want to see more of that kind of stuff in there. You know, the, all the other features that you find with this, of course, Begs on the premium side. You're looking at this right now. I do have the the case. So it does come with a few accessories in the box. It's really nice box when you open it. So you guys have seen a lot of people do on the unboxing videos, uh, but it does come with a, uh, a Kevlar case, which is this case right here. It's nice because it really just snaps off like that, right? Um, but it, it will protect your device, uh, and I think it provides the most amount of protection just because when your screen is folded, it really doesn't really matter at that point, right? Um, the, uh, it also comes with uh, Galaxy Buds and the 25 watt charger. Uh, so again, you get a lot of things in the package, at least to try and justify some of that price point. Now, in terms of the second display, in terms of the, some of the compromises, and I think that's what you find with this device, it's Gen 1, and there's some compromises to be made. The screen size in the front is one of them where it's not as large because of the second screen inside and all the way components are, are situated. The second screen inside has a notch area, which some of you have said, look, you don't like it. And I can understand why, why not like a hole punch. Again, it is raised for, I think, two reasons. One, it allows for a lip, so when you close the device, um, they both touch each other. I think that's what it does uh, quite well for it, so that your screen doesn't touch when, they're, when you're actually folding it together. The second thing also is the fact that uh, because of the components uh, with the camera, the rear, and the other components uh, on this device, it had to be a little bit raised, so you can actually fit the 
the cameras inside. Samsung made sure there are cameras everywhere. And speaking of the cameras, you're pretty much getting the same camera modules as the Galaxy S10 uh, or S10 Plus. So uh, just a few camera samples for you here. Uh, it does take some really nice pictures, it's similar to what the S10 does. Uh, they did state that the rear camera is the X10 camera uh, setup. So you do have the same similarities there in terms of camera work. There is no um, micro SD card, but you do have 512 gigabytes of storage and it uses the new UFS 3.0. So it should be much faster for you. I haven't really had a chance to actually test it out. I will say though that uh, in terms of, you know, writing games down, the downloading and all that stuff, like it handled those things pretty well. So that's, you know, take it for what it is uh, there. Uh, in terms of battery life, what I've experienced, uh, I used it throughout the day yesterday till about 1 a.m. in the morning when I, I did a check. My screen on time was four hours and 32 minutes. I didn't have a full battery. So when I got this device and when I, I opened it up, I started using it, it was about 1 p.m., um, 1, 1 1.30 p.m. or so. So I'll say from 1.30 p.m. to about 1 a.m., which is about 12 hours. Uh, my screen on time was four, hour, four hours, 32 minutes. Take forever you will. I did more gaming on this device. I did, uh, of course, a lot of browsing, watching content. I took some, uh, some photos on there. So that's the kind of stuff that I did on the device to give you an idea what it does. In terms of battery life, I can't give you a gauge. So that's just telling you what I did. So don't take that as a battery life test. Uh, you do have all those lifestyle features, uh, wireless charging, uh, reverse wireless charging as well, which is pretty cool. But I think in terms of usability, you know, it's, it's one of those things that I do gravitate a lot to the foldable display. I mean, it was cool taking it out. I went to dinner yesterday and showing somebody at the, at the bar and they were like, oh, wow, this is pretty cool. Wow, you know, this is new. And some of you have stated, look, it would be nice to have an S Pen. I think it will be. I just don't think they could fit it into this in some form or fashion. So uh, I, there you have it, guys. Those are my thoughts on the Galaxy Fold after 24 hours. Uh, I would say that I am really enjoying it. I like it for consuming content. I do like the larger display. I do like the app continuity with it. I do wish that the display was bigger and wider in the front, but then again, if it did that, it would become a 10 inch uh, tablet or a 10 inch device when you open it up. But I, I see a lot of promise for this. And I think, I think this is the future of mobile phones in the next three to four years where form factor will slim down and all that fun stuff. But I'll give you updates on this. I'll give you my full review, but I wanted to just check in to say, hey, look, this is using the Galaxy Fold in 24 hours. So any thoughts, any questions, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel and always enjoy your entertainment.